Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about five do's and don'ts at St. John's College seminars and tutorials. I would just want to clarify and put a disclaimer out there that everything I say you should take away with a grain of salt. Um, don't take it too literally. It's from my own personal experience for the past few years that I gathered these tips. Um, so yeah, I hope that you find it helpful. And yeah, here we go. So the first do is read your reading. I know this one sounds really basic and almost intuitive, but you'll be surprised at how many people actually don't do their reading. Please do your reading when you come to classes. All of the classes are discussion based, so it's really important for you to have read the reading because even if you read the reading, you're not even going to understand what the text says. So yeah, do your reading. Um, second is to listen to others. And when I say and listen to others, I mean actually listen, ask them questions about what they have just said, or just listen without interrupting. And that's such an important thing that people often forget because they're so eager to talk about their own opinions. But listening really makes a class different. So the third do is you have discernment. By saying that you need discernment, I mean to be self-aware enough to know when to speak up, know when to be quiet, know when to ask questions, and when to not ask questions. Everyone who comes to St. John is smart, but it's your discernment and your self-awareness that will set you apart from others. And tutors also notice that, other students notice that. So have the self-awareness to restrain yourself and withhold yourself. And sometimes ha have that discernment to speak up and tell people we've been on this topic for too long. Oftentimes in tutorials, we'll be focusing on one topic for too long and it's been 30 minutes and you might need to be that one who says, hey, can we move on? The fourth, be kind. Be kind to one another. Everyone's going through something. Everyone is trying to learn. When you ask a question, you can ask it so many different ways. You don't need to say, what did you say? You can always ask, can you repeat that one more time? Instead of just asking your question and directly changing the topic, you can say, I'm sorry that this is not related, but here's my question. There are tons of ways to deliver. Choose the one that expresses kindness. It's so important. St. John's courses are hard and tough. Social life is hard. You don't need to make it harder by being mean to other people in class. The last one to do is to be open. By being open, I mean to be open to criticism and to learn, to be open to learn things. Uh, at St. John's, we have Don Rex that the tutors give you feedback and criticism. And it's so important to be open to those criticism and to actually improve yourself. The tutors aren't trying to just tear you down or belittle you and humiliate you. They want you to be better. So be open to criticism. Um, be open to people when they disagree in class. Keep an open mind. Um, that's really important if you want to learn things, especially at St. John's. Okay, now on to the don'ts. So the first don't is do not dominate the conversation. <sighs> Sadly, it happens all the time. There is always that one person in class who dominates the conversation. Hopefully you're not the one. Hopefully you won't be one. I'm going to be mean for a second and tell you that you are not the smartest person in class. But in reality, everyone's smart at St. John's. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're not as smart as you think you are. Try to learn from what other people bring to the table. You're not there to show people how smart you are, how much you know about the topic already. We're here to learn. So yeah, don't dominate the conversation. We're not at a lecture, we're at a discussion. Second don't is to don't bring outside sources or your personal experience to class. It also happens in other classes where people try to bring in footnotes or um, some other stuff like from Wikipedia. Yeah, at St. John's, we're trying to learn with everyone on the same page. So if you want to bring in outside sources, 
please check with your tutors and class first. Preface it with, this might be an outside source. That way it's more acceptable, but generally try to stay with the text. The third don't is don't be dismissive. So this happens when someone is quiet or someone might have said something you feel like not important and you completely change the topic and dismiss it. That can be very hurtful. Yes, we might not care about other people's feelings, but still um, remember to be kind. And so there are, as I said earlier with the do's, there are, a, there are a variety of ways to deliver your speech. Choose a one that is not dismissive. Number four, don't. This actually happens, but don't forget your book. Uh, I, I've known people who forgot their seminar books, their manuals. Don't forget to bring your book. That's very important. Don't forget to bring your books. Okay, number five, last but not the least, don't talk for the sake of talking. I think by being in school that all our classes, seminars, and tutorials are based on conversation, it's very easy for us to talk just for the sake of talking. And since our grades are based on your participation in class, but don't talk for the sake of talking. Talk for the sake of learning. Talk for the sake of having conversation. When you start talking for the sake of talking, everyone knows. Trust me, everyone knows. Your peers are going to know. Your tutors are going to know. And that makes you look really, really stupid. But yeah, so don't talk for the sake of talking. But yeah, that was my five do's and don'ts for St. John's seminars and tutorials. Uh, comment down below what you think. Uh, what are your two do's and don'ts of St. John's classes? And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. I didn't record my voice.